Uh, hi all, uh, registrars Jeff, Ryan and myself were chatting with a patient prior to taking him into theatre uh, regarding the pain he was experiencing with uh, tarsal tunnel syndrome and plantar fasciosis. He made an interesting comment about the orthotics that he was prescribed. In this video we go through orthoses and why they may increase the symptoms of tarsal tunnel syndrome. Hope you enjoy. Yeah, I can you feel know. the heartbeat. How bad is your pain? Oh, look, it's been 12s, it's, it's now about 7 or 8, so it's not too bad. So how long have you had this for now? 18 months. 18 months, yeah. okay. And what have you uh, done? Maybe two years even. Two I think years. it was about 18 months I saw. Yep. Doctor, so. And what have you done for treatment so far for it? Uh, Where did you start? We started with, I went to a physio, tried that, and then I went to a podiatrist, tried orthotics. And uh, had an injection, then had a second injection, and tried, then got rid of the orthotics, and had a third injection. Where were those injections, Tim? Uh, at uh, Miranda. At, yeah. where, where, what were they injecting? The plantar fascia? Yeah. The yeah. yeah, so yeah. they did one with an ultrasound, Yes. and aimed right into the plantar fascia. The plantar fascia, yes. Yeah. The second one, they, I, reckon, I believe they hit the nerve, because it was a extraordinary pain, like you wouldn't believe. It's right. over the top, couldn't walk, couldn't do anything, and they literally had to stand for about 20 minutes before I could actually move. Right. Did those injections help you, the first one? No, not really. No. And did the orthotic help you? That made it worse. The orthotics made it worse? Yeah. And why do you think the orthotic made it worse? Because um, I think it overcorrected, mm -hmm. which then applied more pressure. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, it didn't give me the relief. So applied more pressure around where um, yeah. Jeff marked that muscle exactly, belly? Exactly, yeah. And you would set... So you get an increase in nerve pain? Yeah. And I also believe that the plantar fascia was the one that was damaged. And when I had the orthotics, I think that's what's done more damage to the nerve mm -hmm. by over, over correcting, which mm -hmm. applied more pressure. And then it just escalated from there. Yeah. And did you notice a difference between when you had the, the plantar fascia at the start with in terms of the symptom, the nature of the symptoms yeah. in comparison to when you had the, the nerve? Yeah. So that, so sleeping and rest, the nerve is constant. Yep. You know, so no sleep for the last three or four months. Sure. You know, I'll hit two thirty every morning, and that's it. Yep. And in comparison sleep. to when you had the the plantar fascia. Plantar fascia, I sleep all the way through. I'm yep. getting up to go to the toilet. You know, you step first thing in the morning, it hurts. Yep. It slowly gets better, and you got a constant sort of numb pain all day, of about a maybe four or five. Uh, but now it's a seven or eight all day. Every sure. Day, you know. okay and no walking on barefoot at all. Yep. Okay, uh, let's go through the anatomy of the distal tarsal tunnel. Uh, sometimes compression can occur more proximally and the flexor retinaculum is released. Uh, in this case, the pain uh, was more distal um, around the abductor hallucis muscle belly. So after the skin incision, uh, you can see the superficial fibers overlying the abductor hallucis muscle belly uh, these fibres are cut and the muscle belly itself will be exposed. You can see the tibial nerve coursing um, under it. This nerve can be quite, um, quite large, sometimes around the 7mm mark in diameter. Uh, this tunnel that it courses under is called the abductor canal, um, or you can refer to it as the portipedis. So if we have a look at an orthotic, usually its highest point is around this area. So if it pushes up against the abductor hallucis muscle belly, it can actually increase nerve compression further. If an orthotic fails to alleviate symptoms of plantar fasciosis and the patient keeps on telling you that the arch feels too high, even though you have grinded it down, you've heated it and pushed it down, then consider the possible uh, scenario of uh, nerve compression along the tarsal tunnel. In these cases, you can simply tell the patient not to wear the orthotic or you can modify them. By marking the area of most pain on the foot and then transferring this to the orthotic. As I mentioned, grinding down the orthotic or pushing down the hard shell after heating it up still may not be enough to decrease pressure at the portipedis. And if this is the case, uh, what I do is I just cut that part out completely. The orthotic ends up looking more like a, a reverse hook orthotic. Uh, in part two, um, I am going to go through the actual surgical procedure of 
uh, tarsal tunnel decompression. See you guys then. Bye.